Hello, my name is Mass Jespersen uh, from Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how to set up an, a 2K molding analysis on uh, on uh, on in Molex 3D. The first thing you do is that you take the first shot um, and make a simulation of that. I have made uh, a model where I use mesh matching between. Uh, and, and not on the first shot, but uh, I uh, I will m use mesh matching, and I uh, added in uh, just a simple cooling. When you put up a simulation like that, you should be aware that you uh, use the same cycle time uh, for first shot and second shot because that's the nature of the 2K that you uh, produce first shot in the same cycle or same timing as the second shot but these are not adjusted uh, automatically in molex 3d so you have to adjust the cycle time after each other so um, i put up this simulation and the way that i put it up is create the mesh i just run uh, an analysis as normal without it the first shot actually doesn't know that it should be a part of the a 2k so this is not just a normal setup so the second shot in the 2k is where i have the same part but now it's a part insert i have a um, made a mesh where I changed the naming from of the first shot to a part insert and then I have the second shot which is the one that's over molded as a part um, and then to connect these two computation In the computation, I just go to MCM and link with previous shot, and then I choose which shot it should be linked to. That m means that uh, the results of the cooling, I the, the 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 temperatures inside the part insert which are over molded in the second shot are used um, as an initial status when over molding that means that the part insert from the first shot has some energy inside which also is the nature of a 2k molding if it's just an when i say just but if it's an over molding you can define inside the process Without linking, I'll just uh, review. You can just in the part insert in each cell temperature, you can define the temperature, but it's overwritten if you link them together, then it doesn't have any influence on the final result. So um, that's actually the way to do it. And uh, You get uh, then, um, for example, the filling results. You can see the filling, how it's over molded. And then there's a result, which is actually not the temperatures of course but you can clip them and see okay this is hotter inside that's because it couldn't get rid of the heat in this case this one is a, a pa66 with glass and this one is a, a soft uh, tpu and the temperature milk temperature of this is much uh, higher than the milk temperature of the tpu so uh, there is a result then 
which is called the uh, remelted area temperature. And if you use uh, an over, if you use a material with higher t temperatures, melt temperatures uh, nearly the same as the overmolded part, you can see on the part inserts which areas that are remelted. Then you can see the temperature of these areas. So um, this is a uh, more or less how to put up a 2K simulation.